All right, I, I did stick around a little bit to uh, record back here, or not record, but uh, do some birding. And uh, it, it's hard, they're out there, but they like to stay on the... Uh, they'll go on the ground, they'll fly from one of the trees and they'll go underneath the bushes. As a matter of fact, I, I think I saw one right there. They're out here, but uh, they're kind of shy right now. And normally in the mid-spring, when they start, this is what I think happens, when they start nesting and uh, basically uh, having babies, having little bird babies, they got to come out and start feeding them. And that's when, that's when they're all over here and the leaves are here. The leaves, the trees come out. They're just flying all over the place. But... Uh, a little too early right now. Uh, there are birds here, but not too many activity. Um, I've seen some fly around and head down here picking up some uh, probably bugs or worms or insects or whatever they can pick up. Okay, so I think there's enough time. So I think there's enough time has gone by that um, that the uh, pond people who are cutting the grass they're gone now so we'll we'll, we'll go back out there All right, everyone, um, I skipped the pond. I skipped the, it was uh, nothing there. And so uh, I did stop and I took, I took a look, but there was nothing to look at. Um, I am here, you've probably seen this place. Uh, let me turn this place, turn the camera around. And uh, this area right here is a, I guess a little viewing area. Um, I've been here before. This is kind of like a overflow, and then it goes out to the levee, the creek. There's actually someone fishing way over there. Uh, when I got here, right about here, there was 
a stork, ibises, and two turtles. I gotta learn to creep up a little bit quieter. Um, although when I stopped right here with my with my bicycle, they were right there. And as soon as I got off the bike, and then I opened the bag and the Velcro, they they scattered, unfortunately. But I'm gonna set up here because there's some uh, some birds here, and most importantly. This field right here, empty now. Um, I don't know what they're going to do with it, but uh, it's empty right now. And uh, a lot of a lot of birds are here. And then sometimes you might see a hawk or an osprey or something come around. And so I'm going to stick around here and let's see what we can find. All right, let's get started here. Uh, the ibises have moved way over there. I'm gonna do my best to get them in view. Where are they? I need to come down just a little bit. All right. They're right, they should be coming up real soon. There they are, there's one. There's two. All right, so two ibises. This is a pretty uh, dependable place to go to if you're looking for ibises, that's for sure. They're always here for some reason. They're always here. What's the other one doing? Let me check on the other one. There's the other one. They're a little far away, but this is the best I can do for from here. I'm not sure if they're... I'll try to get a better focus if I can. So this is always a good spot right here. I try to keep my eye out in the field. I try to keep my eye out in the field out, out there because uh, that's where I usually see smaller birds and sometimes hawks, hawks and whatnot. And uh, there might actually even be some birds around these trees. Anyways, I'm in the shade, so. I feel pretty good. I will keep my eye out. Look around for stuff. But uh, my back is starting to get sore. Um, I think riding my electric bike is contributing to my lower back pain, unfortunately. Or at least my back pain is... Um, I still feel the... I have enough back pain to feel it when I ride my bike, my electric bike, even with a sus suspension seat post on it. Anyways, they're out of view. Let's uh, let's move it just a little bit, and uh, you could see the those are the storks. Yeah, those are the storks right there. I'll try to get that in focus as well. Sometimes it's really hard because I'm, they are kind of far. And uh, above is, uh, a line of trees that are in the shade. So, two uh, X is probably the clearest I can do. Uh, there are some other birds around here on the fences and everything. I'll try to 
I'll try to see if I can get them. All right, there's uh because I'm I'm in the shade and there's a few trees out here. And so uh they might be uh in the tree. So it's just the beginning of spring. Beginning of spring. Almost as fun as watching paint dry. Oh, there's a tiny, tiny little bird <laughs> behind me. I don't know, maybe I'll get that on the Insta360, but uh, anyways, there were some more birds out here, but by the time I got set up, they all moved on somewhere. I might have to call it a day. My back is starting to I didn't take an ibuprofen. I took the uh I took an allergy medicine. It's helping because I can feel my nose running. But I didn't take any ibuprofen. I should have taken ibuprofen. I'm gonna have to take some ibuprofen when I get home. There's a small little tiny bird right there. Let me see if I can get it. Yep, came back. If you stay in one place long enough and you're quiet, if you're quiet long enough, they do start coming out. That's what I've noticed. That bird's staying nice and still. Thank you, bird. Oh, it did stay nice. Oh, it's going to come back. I'm not sure what it's doing, but it's like... Where'd it go? A little bit to the left and up. There we go. I'm not sure what it's doing. It's flying above like an area and coming back. Not sure if that's just... That's just how they do things. Where's it going? Okay, it's flying off. It flew off. That was a... Uh... So, being around a tree may help you in getting uh, some birds here. Let's go back to these guys. Ooh, looks like there's a whole bunch of them now. Yeah, it's getting pretty windy out here. Yeah, there's a few of them. There's some that are even closer. If I pan down a little bit. Let me see if I can pan down. There. Yeah, quite a few actually. This one's the closest, so let me focus on that. Put those guys in the background. Anyways, there we go. I'll keep my eye out for more, uh, more of these smaller birds. They're kind of more fun. I like the colorful birds. The birds. Anyways, uh, my back is really getting sore right now. Um, 
I'm gonna start heading back home. I'll recap when I get at the house. Uh, I'll look around a little bit more and see what else I can catch. Um, getting a bird on video is hard, uh, unless you have like the camera equipment and everything. It is just really difficult. Um, and, uh, you know, my setup is not any more harder or more difficult, but uh, it's harder than you think. It's quite a challenge. But man, it's really nice out here today. Not very humid. Not very humid. Did I mention that? <laughs> Not very humid at all. Anyways, I'm gonna probably uh, end it here. I'll uh, look around some more on my own, but uh, I'll recap when I get at the house. Uh, I don't know, my back is really getting achy. Um, I don't know how long I can ride the bike or how much longer I could ride the bike. All right, everyone, I'm back. Here's the, there's the bike here. Oh man, I am, um, this is not the, uh, the most, uh, longest ride I've ever done. Um, as far as time, it's one of the, one of the longest, but, uh, not, not by far. Um, I've gone, uh, eight hours riding a bike. Um, but, uh, it is, a little tiring for me because of my lower back so uh, I didn't ride the bike as much uh, let's take a quick look at the bike and so uh, yeah I got all my stuff in here Whew. Uh man riding the bike was uh, it uh, with the lower back pain um, man it is tough um, I did take some I went in the house <laughs> took some ibuprofen I don't think it's that bad. I feel more loose when I'm out there pedaling and everything, but uh, definitely my lower back pain's affecting the way I ride my bike, so that's not fun for me. Anyways, uh, I made it back home. Um, glad I rode the bike. Uh, gives me a chance to go out, and also, um, you know, it did loosen my lower back a little bit, and um feeling a lot hungry, a lot of hungry, so I'm going to enjoy some uh, food here. Um, I don't know what I'm going to make or what I'm going to eat, but I'm going to eat something. But uh, the Rad Power Bike, yeah, it, it 
it does help, especially if you have a an injury or you're recovering from an injury. I'm I don't know a lower back lower back I don't have a lower back injury, but I have lower back pain. Uh, it does making the riding the bike a lot easier. Anyways, I uh, hope you all enjoyed this episode. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to put this together, but I'll try to make it as interesting as possible. Please, please like, share, comment below. Tell me what you think. Is riding a bike with lower back pain a good idea or a bad idea? Birding with your bike, is that a good idea or a bad idea? I don't know. Until next time. Bye.